Hey everyone, um, I'm just working today, just doing some odds and ends, but I will take you guys along. I know I haven't done a lot of videos in the last week, I'm sorry, but it's just been crazy and uh, just kind of been everywhere. Um, I got my chickens processed, they're in the freezer, that's done. Now I just have cattle left and a couple other things, so I'll take you guys along. So I threw some square bales, uh, what looks to be wheat straw, out of the top mow. Um, see how dark it is in here. I might need to turn the lights for you guys. Yeah, it's a little dark. Let me get the lights. So we have a bit of a situation coming in. Um, it looks nice out today, but it's supposed to be getting a lot colder. It is November, but what I have is I have turkeys that have a very crappy shed around them, and I don't want them getting colder. Six, uh, six, ah, sick because I am going into uh, process them on the 23rd, I think, or something like that. So it, um, it'll it make a big difference if I have them inside and keep them warm. So I set this up area. This is what I typically use for sorting for cattle. So that means my cattle sorting and my cattle sales will be pushed back until the turkey process date. Um, I know this is more of a pain in the butt but what I can see is at least they'll be inside and they'll be somewhat warm. I don't want to lose them. I have six months worth of work in there. And I just, so this is what it's going to be. Um, I am doing double time here and setting up my cattle loading facility. Um, a little bit different than we've done in the past because I want it to work well. And I think this might be a better system. So I'll show you guys what we're doing. Duck update. There they are. They seem to be getting bigger and bigger every day, like quick. So they're starting to look like adult ducks already. So I hope they grow fast. I even gave them the sprouts, some grain. I've just been basically giving them layer grain. I had them st with starter, but I, I shouldn't have bought it. But oh well. That is life. I will just feed the starter to the turkeys because the starter is high in protein. So it saves me from putting soybean meal in. So, so this is the plan here. I'm looking at replacing those two gates, switching them out. So that big one will go over there and then that small one will be put on here and be able to swing. I will put the pins on so it's a working gate again. This will have to do, um, things always, uh, will have to do, this always happens this way, but we used to try and run them into here and uh, it's all right. The problem is you're swinging two doors closed. What I'm thinking of doing is Sorry, but uh, we start here, get them through here, and then they go and test every fence, basically do a circle, and then they typically go back and test that fence. What I will do is I'm going to have that door open just like that. I'm going to switch water troughs. I'm going to have a gate here so that there's a gate here so that they test that and see that that's not working, and then they see an open gate thinking that that's an escape, and they go through here. As they go through here, there will be a gate here so that they can't get in here or boards so that they can't. That trough won't be here. They will, that door over here will be closed. They will keep going, keep going, wooded off, planked off, do the U. Okay, still trying to get out. This will be, there won't, there'll be a gate again here, hopefully. And then go here and go, okay, this is an open area. And what I will do is I will have a guy working over here and that gate will open and close like it is. And then I will have a sorting area. So what I'll do is if I have a calf here, I will try and kick my calves in here. Once I have my calves in here, then I can open this up. I'm gonna make it so this door opens up a lot better than it does now and will be able to be lockable. So this guy can switch between there and there. And if it's really busy in this area, We'll have a second person in this gate uh, or at this door over here and be able to work that door as well as this one if they're both lockable it can be done with one but it might be better with two and then as people are working them through here and trying to sort cows and calves off we can have that working um, that way i can sort them in here and once they're sorted in here i can literally get the trucker to come right here Open this gate right here. He'll back right up, open this gate, and then just let him flow in. Because this, when it's angled like that, and you have a guy right here, 
they push right through and they go right into the truck. That is the current plan. Um, there's a bunch of work before I get there. I try to make this smoother and smoother every year and try and make it so that it goes easier because less stress on the cattle and a smoother operation means you have less than stress weight, you have less kind of trauma to them and uh, they just, they learn to work better with you and uh, it makes it a lot safer too. Um, I know it isn't perfect, but it's getting better and better every year and when you have a system that works and that's safe, people don't really seem to mind as much helping you out, but when you have a rodeo and it's really rough and tough and you're gonna have to try and muscle the cattle around, um, it just, it doesn't go well, it doesn't go smooth, things break because they're a lot bigger than you are, they break a lot of equipment and everything else, so it just makes it easier if you can make it a little smoother. So that's what I try and go for every year, and uh, that's what I try and do. I have to fix this area right here. I'm going to put new T-bars, I'll put T-bars in here to support it, make it stronger, similar to what I did over there. It is an ideal, it's less than ideal, but at least it makes it so that they are not freaking uh, testing that fence. Because the, the worst part is, is when they nudge with their nose and boards come down, they always think they can get through it. If they nudge it and they're nudging a gate that isn't moving, they don't seem to want to go through.